Hello friends! So in the latest installment of My Patrons Made Me Do It, we recently had the Prime Writing Weekend where I was going to be going through the Wheel of Prime and using that to do our on-screen sprints during live streams over on Twitch. It was going to be a total of 1060 minutes of sprinting and however many days that took. Because importantly, what I wanted was to do a fun challenge like I used to, but with the like knowledge and experience I've gained about like where my health was at, making sure that everything was okay. And you know what? A spoiler alert. This totally like reinvigorated me in terms of writing experiments that I can totally do them around my like kind of new capabilities, which is awesome. But before I get into the vlog and all the stats from the weekend. I do want to ask for your help because part of the Prime Writing Weekend was there were a couple challenges that people could participate in, could even cross it off their bingo board. One of them was the seven word micro story, um, a spinoff of the six word story. The most famous one being, you know, baby shoes for sale, never worn, only seven, Prime, and a haiku because Prime syllables, yes. And if over the course of the whole Prime Writing Weekend from the very start, the first sprint to the very last sprint, if people submitted their stories and their haikus to me, they were entered into a tiny little fun challenge where I hope that you guys can help me vote on the winners of each and I will be sending them like just enough money so that they can buy a new book at their favorite indie bookstore or help like supplement their caffeine uh, needs a couple times to like the local cafe during their writing sessions. So I will have the links for both of those down below so please do vote. Very short haikus and seven word stories. And okay without further ado let us get to the vlog. Day one. <laughs> Hello, I have the Wheel of Prime already. Ooh, already primed, ready to go. <laughs> but since today is Friday, my goal is a 10K Friday. That is 10,000 words, 10,000 steps, all while doing the Prime Writing Weekend. Let's go. I already populated mine, but you can see all of the fun stuff. Like, used all five senses in a scene. Five, Prime. <laughs> Seven water refills. Went on a walk, grabbed a healthy snack, submitted the haiku, three stretch breaks, wrote over 509 words in a single sprint. Also, there will be no creative blocks today. <laughs> I am excited and nervous, but it's about to start, so cheers. Uh, for our 37 minutes, I got 427 words for the first sprint. I feel good about that. Heck yes. Oh my gosh, Giselle, 1,255. You crush it. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready. Let us spin this wheel. Go. Oh. <laughs> All right. You know the scary part of getting rid of these small numbers to start is that we're only gonna have big ones left. <laughs> I'm a little scared. It's fine. home of boxes. You're so good. Get her. Get her. <laughs> All right, I have crossed through some of my bingo board. I am up 2,500 words. It is now time to go and walk. 10,000 steps. Just kidding. I decided to eat and do today's puzzle first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So-called tennis expert. I came from Dubai. Disrespectful and disgusting, I would say. Weren't you guys the tennis podcast? 
question a big thing for me with this challenge was that I wanted to be able to take like much needed eye breaks, movement breaks, not be so bound to my computer every second of the day. And I think having separated this into like morning streams and evening streams with my entire afternoons free, like it is working currently even better than I could have hoped. And honestly, I think the girls appreciated all the extra time that I got to spend with them midday. <laughs> All right, it is about time to start our second stream. I am almost at 10,000 steps. I realize part of the issue is I always forget to bring my phone with me <laughs> places and definitely not around the house, but I got about 9,700 when I was on the walk. So just one little jaunt later. I know I should be good. <laughs> so while the 10,000 steps is within reach, the 10,000 words is not gonna happen. I have not written since the stream and I'm only at 2,579 only. Incredible. I just don't know that I can do 10k days anymore. I don't know that I have that same drive, but I do like to try. The plus side is I never beat myself up if I don't hit it. Um, so it's been just kind of like a fun lofty goal and if I end up with 5,000, 4,000 whatever words, amazing. And my 2,000 steps. 10k Friday is just feels catchier to me. 5k Friday? Nah. But this does free me up to start thinking about my goals for the whole weekend. I am almost at the midway point of this story. We get another death in a closet full of cauldrons at the midpoint before everything starts to spiral. <laughs> before some of the secrets are uncovered, but not all of them. <laughs> so if I'm almost at the midpoint, definitely writing through the midpoint is a goal. I think I might be able to finish that by tomorrow. Maybe... 75% of the way feels unrealistic. Screw it. Let's just say 75% of the way. I wanna to get to the theoretical all is lost. Yes. Yes? Yes. Cheers. To this ridiculous goal. We'll see. I think if I could get through giving over the cauldron today, that would be super helpful because that's kind of the downward spiral as there's another death, the ex is caught, she has to give over the cauldron, in which case everyone sort of pieces together that she stole it in the backstory, threatens her livelihood because she stole from a client, even if maybe the client didn't know that she was accidentally harboring a horribly magical cauldron. I think that would be a good place to hit. It's like three chapters away. It's like four chapters. <laughs> I feel like it is only fitting. The two, the 97, get out two of the bingo board options. Let's go. Oh no, but this is more work done. All right, high choice 67. I believe in us. I wanted to give y'all some writing mood <laughs> ambiance. It is coming down hard. Hold on. You don't want to go out there, Buff. All right, 3,930 words. I am leaving off right in the middle of the scene as we find out about the second murder. So I am very excited about it. Um, we went ahead and called it early because of the storm and how often we lose power, uh, but we will be back again tomorrow. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling excited, and I can't wait to see what the Wheel of Pride is going to give us. All my girls are scared of the storm and it's past now. And so now you guys can chill out, huh?
Yeah. So on Friday, I got 3,930 words across 244 minutes of sprints, okay? I'm gonna share with you the uh, words per minute that I wrote because it's gonna be a really funny stat by the time we get to the last day. So on Friday, I basically wrote 16.106 words per minute that we were sprinting. So obviously during the streams, we would have like some chatty time, we'd do some polls, just like, you know, general chaos. That was super fun. But obviously, like, I only really counted the, like, sprint time as the writing time. Yeah. Especially as someone who's hosting it. I know when I'm in other people's streams, I can... Sometimes I'll just keep writing. I'll, like, mute it a little bit. Um, if I'm, like, especially in the midst of a thought. But I can't really do that while I'm hosting. This is one of the all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares moments. So all of my writing time was during sprinting time, but also during sprinting time, sometimes that was my like, had to run to the bathroom, had to get some water, had to be distracted by the animals, not had to, but was, yes. All right, coffee, partially done. Stream, totally done. We got the 97 and the uh, 31. So we have not a whole lot left. I mean, no, we do, we have plenty left, but the scary ones are we're slowly knocking them down. What we have left to do still. And then we brought up a different bingo board. I am excited because on the stream while I was making my cappuccino, I had a bit of a brain blast and I realized a better way, such a small thing, but I realized a better way to work one of the scenes. We've just had the second death. It is revealed to our main character. She stumbled upon basically the crime scene, but doesn't know like who it is. Uh, it's revealed to her and she and the police captain mother go on a little bit of a, a walk, a journey, because she's not a suspect, even though she kind of should be. They're really having a back and forth. And before I just had it where it took place at the precinct, but I think it is much more fun, um, the movement of the scene, that they're actually going back to a place um, that we haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to since like the second or third chapter. It's called Frank's Familiar Finds. It has a little familiar as the uh, mascot and it basically, <laughs> it's like just on the edge of the town. I imagine it's kind of like a Bucky's here, or like a really nice gas station. It's for all the familiar finds. It's for like Frank's version of like, supernatural snacks and like all the things you would need as you're exiting out of um, the magical section of town. And yeah, so it's just, it's such a small thing, but I think referencing back that place again sort of helps to tie some of the the growth and what we've seen with the character back. And um, yeah, just gives it something a little bit different. We already had a bit of an interrogation in the precinct, so I just think, it helps to expand. Yes, yes. So just a small thing that I didn't have in the outline. I am up 1,640 words for the day and I feel great. I'm going to take a break now to go on a bit of a run, a couch to 5K, and maybe get some crochet work in because I have a mighty long list and a mighty little bit of time. <laughs> Little guy fell over in the storm. There we go.
ready to get. Happy afternoon for permitting weekend. <laughs> we continue on. So on Saturday, we sprinted once in the morning where we got to the 97, dur, 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 the highest potential number on the Wheel of Prime, and then the 31. And we sprinted that afternoon with the 59 minutes and 17 minutes. So I got a total of 2,475 words on Saturday with 204 collective minutes sprinting. So 40 minutes less than the day before, but sometimes that's just how the wheel works, okay? And that means that I got 12.132 words per minute. A decrease. Okay, it is day three of the prime writing weekend. I, the scarf is getting there. It just needs to be like triple its current size. <laughs> but I thought I might work on it during one of the sprints if I just need like a little bit of a break. Cause I'm thinking what I'll do is just one stream today and just like a little bit of a longer one. Plan, <laughs> organized chaos. I have water, tea, coffee. I'm ready to get started. So on Sunday we only did the one stream and we got the 43, the 3, the 61, and the 83 minutes. That's a total of 190 minutes, our shortest amount of time sprinting across the entire five days. And I wrote 2,242 words. So we get a little decrease again to 11.8 words per minute. <laughs> now on Monday is really when I noticed the tides a turnin'. Are you ready to sprint? Are you ready to sprint? All right, I am feeling good about the start of today. I was telling my partner that uh, each day has been worse, but I've tweaked stuff um, on the scene level that I think has had really great results. It was funny because yesterday I took a break in the middle of the sprint to go get, I think either a tea or some coffee and something in the process of like being up while I was still mulling over the problem that I'd had while sitting at the screen for a few minutes, I solved it. I was like, mm -hmm. this is always my reminder to myself that if I, sometimes I just need to move, sometimes I just need slightly different scenery while still thinking over a possible solution. So it is just after 10, it is Monday. I'm thinking we'll go through Tuesday based on the amount of numbers we still have left, but we'll see. Turn the mic up. Hello friends. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Did you have fun on your run? <laughs> Good job. Wow. Mm. I was at the store and I saw this banshee wine and I just, I knew I had to have it because I am currently writing a character who was a banshee and you know, during the last stream, I had a really good first sprint. I got 1300 words in 79 minutes. And then I got no words in the 47 minute sprint. I switched over to a little bit of handwriting and doing a Patreon post because I realized that my outline was not outlining. <laughs> I needed to go a little bit off script because something wasn't quite making sense. And I couldn't pinpoint exactly what it was at first. Um, and so I decided to follow where the draft was leading me and sometimes that bites me in the ass, but this time it's because I made a mistake in that one. <laughs> so some of you might remember I had Project Purple where I accidentally had a double Thanksgiving situation. This time, basically the scene coming up, the scene I just wrote takes place at about 2, 3 a.m. and her apartment is like completely blocked off. And in the outline, it basically skips to like 9 a.m. the next work day and it's like where would she have gone because as I wrote this out it just it didn't make sense it doesn't make sense and so I'm using the banshee character and I'm gonna go a little bit on the fly and I think it's gonna turn out better but it does force me to move 
some things I reveal a little bit sooner, but I think it's gonna be better for it. The problem is I haven't played around with the outline, like moved stuff around on the timeline to be sure of that. So I think I'm going to write the continuation during the next stream with the Banshee character. And then maybe during one of the following sprints, reconfigure that line. Mm -hmm. Plan. Let's do this. Two thousand two hundred and eighteen for the day. I think I was able to work around. <sighs> I'm very tired though, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. In the morning we got the 79 and the 47, and the 47 is the first sprint where I technically got a little a little goose egg, a little babble, if you will. I got zero, zero words in Closet Flow Cauldrons. But that afternoon we got the 23 minute and the 73 minute, and I I came right back at it. So my total for the day was 2,218 words across 222 minutes of sprinting for 9.99 words per minute. Okay. Tea. Tea. Water. And only six left. Let's see how long it takes us. We're getting them all done in one. Oh, meow. What? on our final sprint of the Prime Writing Weekend. You guys, we did it. <laughs> oh, we did it. I have a decent chunk of uh, index cards now. I have a lot more to go, but, whew, encore. <laughs> we made it, everyone. We survived. <sighs> I feel very good. I feel great. On Tuesday, we successfully finished it out, which was awesome with the five minute, the 41 minute, the 11, the 19, the 71, and the 53 minute sprint. And in that time, I wrote 389 words in a closet full of culture. I did also handwrite three pages of Bejeweled, my handwritten novel project, so that was fun. I also got some re-outlining done, as y'all saw with the cards, and actually, we'll cover this in another video, but... This is what the, the layout of the cards look like right now. <laughs> but that's not on a words per minute basis, not counting the handwritten pages, just in what I managed to get done for a closet full of cauldrons. I wrote 1.945 words per minute. <laughs> and now I like to imagine this because I think it's kind of funny to think of the total 200 minutes that day I spent and 1.945 words per minute. So for 200 minutes, every minute, I wrote almost, almost, two words. And so the mental picture of me agonizing over the two words is funny to me, even though that's not, you know, how it actually happened. Though I do think that's how it actually happened for a couple of those 200 minutes before I finally decided to call it. <laughs> so in the total 1,060 minutes of sprinting, I wrote 11,254 words, which is awesome. Three handwritten pages and maybe a couple more in Bejeweled. I got a stack of note cards, which was very, very helpful. And I just had a freaking blast. It was so much fun. I think my favorite part of the whole weekend, besides like the camaraderie aspect, which was so fun, we all had this like start and end time. And there's like such a dedicated push that I think we all have. And I'm going to set that aside because that is always my favorite part. That's my favorite part about streaming is everyone coming together and helping each other come up with names or like workshop plot problems. Like there's there's just so many great things about getting together with other writers. But what I really liked was the Wheel of Pride was the perfect amount of chaos because it was like we weren't trying to go up, we weren't trying to go down. It felt nice and fun and varied and I think every time I hit that little button on the wheel, I was scared. There was just like a fun little element of panic that we might get a really long one. Or 
I really wanted to write and we might get a really short one. <laughs> I also learned to use part of Twitch that I'd not done before, some of the commands. So that was cool as someone who was streaming. And this is obviously coming off the back of me having some issues with like consistency, I would say, in terms of streaming, making YouTube videos, everything else. You know, all of the stuff that I've been doing has really moved down in priorities as my health has taken um, the first place and really working on that. And so it was nice to me to get to do something like this where that was still the case. There was built in breaks. I never felt like anything went on too long. I, I felt really very good the entire five days. I also loved all the many epiphanies I had about a closet full of cauldrons and just like the dedicated focus but also being able to get up and think about it uh, throughout the day helped. I think having one dedicated project for the whole weekend was really really nice. Y'all know if you've been on this channel for a while that I enjoy skipping around on things but as the amount of time I'm able to spend on projects has shifted it's been really nice to just stay in the zone when I can and focus on the one project. So outside of the last day where I was just struggling a little bit and needed that time and decided to handwrite all all closet full of cauldrons for five days straight and it was wonderful and it was so much fun and I love the world and as much of a struggle as it was a little bit with those like four hours that I'd not accounted for in the timeline. It, it's fun. It's a blast. I would love to live in this world. So it's fun to get to write in it. For the things that I did after I finished, I finished the scarf that I gave already now to my partner's grandma and also my little dragon for the year of the dragon for Tet. That was really fun. I'm going to try and make some more still using different patterns as I'm on my quest to learn how to read patterns just by sight without having like YouTube tutorials. So yeah, I, I associate that with that weekend because it was those kind of like hectic, amazing, crazy things all together that I was doing. So it's very fun. Finally, I did ask some people for feedback on the weekend um, if they participated. And I just want to go over those stats really quickly because I thought it was really interesting that there was actually a decent percentage that used the VODs, which is the like video on demand, I think is what it's called, after the fact on Twitch that as soon as the video the live stream's done, it uploads. So nearly 10% of people use that as their primary method for participating. But over half of people used at least one, which was really cool. That's how I participate sometimes in these like big weekend events, especially as one of my big goals for last year was to work less on the weekends. I would still go back and like participate in weekend long events that people were having that I, I couldn't really spend the time to do then. And I would go on Monday and I have all the streams up and it was just wonderful. So it was fun to see that. A lot of people use the bingo board, which was really cool. I have been converted to a bingo fan from the Worldwide Redathon um, Now Storytellers Heart Weekend Relay stuff. Um, and that's really cool. Looking over the extras that people wanted for next time, I saw a couple cool ideas, one of which would be like daily challenges, which I think would be really fun. So obviously we had the bingo board, which was over the course of the whole time, the submitting a haiku, submitting the seven word story, like those were all weekend long things. And then the day to day was just kind of the chaos of whatever you know, number we got on the wheel. But I like having a daily challenge. I think that's a really fun element that I will have to brainstorm a little bit for when we do another variation of this again. Also, it was really cool to see what people managed to get done during the weekend. Someone edited around 105 scenes in their timeline, heck yes. Uh, 5,000 words and a book cover design. People got day job work, life chores, and WIP brainstorming. I love that people were participating amongst like very real life stuff happening. Um, it was a Friday to a Tuesday, so like, some people were having to work on the weekends, some people were having to work during the weekdays, taking care of their families, their other responsibilities. It was just really fun to see five full chapters and part of another. More progress than I've made in weeks. Loved to hear that. I was not the only one who said that the Wheel of Prime was one of their favorite aspects. Very here for wheels. <laughs> I think if I were to do this again, besides Prime Writing Weekend being another one that we could we could redo during actual Prime Weekend. I liked the idea of taking a deck of tarot cards or anything else and really going through it from start to finish every single option used. I think that there was something for me as someone who's uh, not recently but had been streaming you know every weekday for a while for you know, several years a little bit back. Um, it's nice to have 
something like a start and end that's very satisfying to be like okay we've done the prime numbers now now it is time to move our two over to like all evens or all odds or as someone suggested doing some Fibonacci sequences we could lump together some pi <laughs> numbers loved it all that to say I had a really good time and I'm excited to do another iteration of this in the future when exactly that'll be who's to say but it feels like a much more manageable fun challenge than uh, some others I've done and that's kind of my speed for this year so I think it'll be sooner rather than later. I do want to end this video by thanking my patrons for helping me come up with this idea in the first place, uh, Ace Coffee and everyone else um, for suggesting so many aspects of this weekend. I had genuinely so much fun and I thank you all for um, just you know helping me create chaos. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who sprinted alongside us this weekend, where, whether you were like live in the moment or doing the VODs, I appreciate you. I had so much fun with you. Thank you to everyone who submitted a haiku and a seven word story. And thank you for those of you who are voting on your favorites again down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will be back with a new one soonish. Bye. <laughs>